Hello and welcome to another Night Shift. My name is Yazil, and today we're gonna install the Dark Rift networking for our game. <clears throat> so as you can see I opened an empty scene, an empty project in Unity and went to the asset store and just searched for Dark Rift. As you can see you will find three different versions. This is the version for 20 users, this is for 200 users and this is for unlimited users. All of these are concurrent users so you can have like 100 user accounts but only 20 users can play on the, at the same time. Well, just start up and install it. I already downloaded it, so I just have to click install, uh, import. So here's all the stuff which is in the package. Just import. So that was from uh, earlier try. There are demos inside. Um, just clean up a little bit. We don't need this and that. Um, I don't need the documentation. The embedded server, we don't need that also because uh, our, our whole game will be an external server. We don't need that one, and we don't need that, 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 and that. Just delete that. So first of all we have to unzip the external server package. Just um, go here, unzip it. I did it uh, in my structure over here. There's a server folder and I unzipped the stuff inside here. When you're done with that just double hit the server and you can see such a window server is mounted and the port where the server is listening to. There's a config file. I open that so you see here the port and that's the MAC connection for the uh, enterprise version. If you want to have uh, locks in it you just have to type in true over here and save that and stop the server again and start it up. And if you go to locks in a moment and you go here, you see, I checked it out a little bit here, um, which is the, the server is booted, server mounted on the port and found a total of zero plugins. Just close that up. Well, the server is running, so we don't need more with that in a moment so just make it uh, small and after that you can delete that zip folder also. Well just uh, for the demonstration we're going to open up this uh, player demo I run the game and you see a little block and if you use the arrow you can see the player is moving but the more important stuff is is it working in network mode for that to check that out we just stop these go to build settings go to player settings 
and be sure that in your project is run in background uh, active. That means if your game is not active, um, that uh, the program is still running. So if we're going to check that out, um, we can see the result on the uh, other screen. I show what I mean in a moment. You also be sure that you clicked Add Open Scene here, so the build is running. So build and run. I made myself a photo build here, and called the game game, and just save it, and the build will start. And after that, it will open up. Close that, oh. and I run it in window mode so we can see a little bit. Let's check it out if it's still running. Yeah, player is moving, and let's see on the server. So we started to log in, and you see. If we click here, the message which is uh, transported over the network will be displayed in our log file and also on our screen here. Just start up a second client. We go here and push the run button and we can see there's a second player now in the, in the game. And if we go back to our other game and we move that you can see the player is moving in both screens. Also we can look again here so that's the important part of our network. Uh, next part we will plugins for um, Dark Rift, which will be the login plugin and the MySQL plugin. So let's stop that. Stop that. Hold on the game and just delete the demo because we don't need that also. Save your project and save the scene. Well, that's for now. Uh, I'm coming back to you with the plugin stuff in a few days. Have fun and happy night.